All right. Well, it was generally smooth sailing for folks flying over the holiday weekend. Flight tracking site Flightware reported fewer than 200 cancellations within, into, or out of the U.S. on Christmas Day. And this comes after airlines prepared for massive waves of travelers hiring thousands of extra workers. But as CBS's Jared Hill reports, one airline in particular saw a few hiccups. Christmas Day at airports across the country. Loving the holiday travel time. Yeah. Nothing you can miss about it. Largely headache free, but for this grandmother of a six year old, sent on the wrong flight alone, a nightmare. I ran inside the plane to the flight attendant and I asked her, Where's my grandson? He was handed over to you at Philadelphia. She said, No, I had no kids with me. Instead of flying from Philadelphia to Fort Myers, he went to Orlando before making it home for Christmas. Spirit Airlines apologized to the family in a statement and said the child was always under the care and supervision of a Spirit team member. For the millions of others flying, this year was much better than last. Fewer than 200 cancellations and only about 2,000 delays for U.S. bound trips. Still, troubles for Southwest flights in the Midwest. We're not going nowhere, no planes going in or out. The airline blaming dense fog in Chicago over the weekend with the hundreds of flights canceled, but full recovery expected today. It's terrible. I'm just, I'm just keep trying to keep a smile, keep a positive outlook to keep from crying. This comes a week after the Department of Transportation fined Southwest $140 million for last year's major holiday travel disruptions. On the ground, some tricky travel with snow and ice in the Midwest and Great Plains. Jared Hill. CBS News. Let's continue from Colorado to Nebraska and on into South Dakota, which could continue to make driving dangerous. Fortunately, we're in a holiday travel lull. According to AAA, the best day to avoid traffic is today, with most drivers expected to hit the road back home on Thursday.